everybody just having my morning cup of coffee here beautiful view day here and um, this content is um, I'm creating it for our school group which you can find at ectribe.com which is a free platform uh, we're putting a lot of content and training there so come join us it's free there's tons of good stuff there already um, but I'm posting it everywhere um, so today I want to talk about a very interesting uh, thing it's gonna sound a little strange but it will make a lot of sense and thanks to my mentor Cheryl Townsley for teaching me this years ago um, it's something called the stress bucket and the stress bucket is kind of how much you appropriately put on your plate so this is especially helpful for um, people who like helping other people people who are very empathetic and people who tend to um, overdo themselves so a stress bucket is like how much um, how much is on my plate in an appropriate manner and I would say it should be like 50% which means like I'm gonna handle what's actually my responsibility and if I see someone who um, needs my help it doesn't necessarily then obligate me to help them maybe it's good for them to figure it out on their own right and in looking at what I need to handle um, if I'm not sure that personally I can handle it it doesn't necessarily overwhelm me or shut me down because um, I don't view myself um, without divine intervention and help so I can look at a situation I'm like I'm not sure I'm gonna, how I'm gonna handle it but help will arrive I'll be fine right so what happens is um, when people are very intuitive and empathetic this and tend to be the more competent person in, in an environment then they start putting everything on their plate right here's how I would describe how it feels um, when your stress bucket is too full it feels like you're on a treadmill that is going a little faster than is comfortable but you feel that if you um, quit or fall off that those other three people also on treadmills that they will automatically crash so if if you quit or fall then you have the sense that those people you care about will crash and burn because they depend on you and so oh well I have a deer running through our yard um, so it, it gets you to push and push and push and push and typically you'll push yourself till you completely crash and burn yourself right when the stress bug is too low it's like you're looking at stuff you're not sure how you can handle it so you're like Ugh, don't even talk to me about it i can't even handle it and it shuts you feel shut down and overwhelmed so i'm going to give you two very simple affirmations slash prayers for both ends of the spectrum okay so if you feel you're tending to make your stress bucket too full right just say this say God, I've put a bunch of things on my plate that are not actually my responsibility. And by putting them on my plate, I've taken them out of your hands where they'll be better handled. And right now I'm going to give a bunch of things back to you. And it's good and safe for me that I do it. And it's good and safe for other people that I do it. And if you need me to do anything for anyone, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm just not going to worry about it. Or if it's too low... Okay, and you're feeling overwhelmed and shut down, just say this, say, you know, God, right now I invite you back into my life to help me, to pick me up and carry me if you need to, because there's a bunch of things in my life that I've not been handling as well as I could, and I've been thinking and acting like an orphan instead of one of your children. So right now I invite you back into my life to help me, to pick me up and carry me if you need to, which you'll love to do. And I'm grateful that my life is about to get much easier, right? This is also a great um, time to talk about, like, really about uh, boundaries and about stumped versus stuck people. And I think we may have talked about this before. But many of these things, um, it's helpful to revisit them over and over and over. So what will happen with this two-full stress bucket is... Um, not recognizing the difference between stumped and stuck people, right? So 
of people who need your help, there's two kinds of people. Um, people who are stumped. I mean, they just need a solution. You give it to them. They'll take it. They'll run with it. They will be super grateful. Okay. And, um, and it'll be fun to help those people, right? Stuck people aren't sure things can get better. They will take all of your resources. And in the end, when things don't work out, they'll blame you because you didn't do enough. So it's very helpful to keep a close eye on the level of gratitude that you see in people in in general, and all, but also specifically towards what you're doing. And you you can use this understanding to provide a framework um, to walk away from some situations without guilt and shame. Partially, you need to realize that there are stumped people waiting for you in your future that you personally are uniquely um, equipped to help. But if you let guilt and shame push you into helping all the stuck people, you'll never get to those stumped people in one piece. Anyways, hope this is helpful for you to make your life easier and more productive and to help you get into flow.